Hi, so today we'll discuss about how to check the leads and the call logs on Neodoka. So first we need to understand that the leads and the call logs, we need to check it from a particular campaign itself. Because the leads we usually upload it in a campaign level and whatever the calling and the updation will happen and then accordingly the logs will also get created in that particular campaign only. So now what we'll do, first we need to log into the admin credentials. Once we get logged into the admin credentials, the first screen that we come across is the screen. There's a dashboard that we call now, which will give us a complete overview of your account that is what is exactly happening along with all the summary analysis and all the shortcut keys as well. Now, in order to check that particular campaign, we need to get into that particular pipeline because in a particular pipeline only we'll be having different types of campaign, which follows the same lead journey or the same stages and tags. So let's say we, if we want to go into a campaign which uh, performs for sales. So what I'll do is I'll click on pipeline from the left hand side. Once we click on pipeline, we can see whatever the other pipelines are present in the system. So let's select for sales. Once we click on sales, so for sales pipeline, for the sales lead journey, for the, for the sales purpose, whatever the campaigns and the folders that I've created, all the folders are being present and visible at the right hand side corner. As we can see on the right hand side, all the campaigns have been present. So let's say we just need to check for any of the campaigns, leads and call logs. So I'll go for testing. This is a testing campaign. I'll click on testing campaign. Once we click on that testing campaign, we get entered into that campaign. We'll, give over, we'll get an overview of that. We'll get the basic analytics and all the statistics as well. Now, in order to check the leads and the call logs, we can see at the top, there's two options. View leads and view call logs. If we just need to check the leads, we'll simply click on view leads. Once we click on view leads, whatever the leads are present in this particular campaign, all the leads are visible over here. We can get a basic details also, the name, number, creation date, stage, user being assigned, status, everything. If you click on any of the leads, if in that lead, any other details are present at the time of uploading, all the details will be visible under that particular lead, under the other details section or the additional details section. So along with that, if you want to search for any lead, by the number at the top right corner there's a search button so we can search any lead by the number if you want to filter out the lead at that point of time there's a filter option at the top top left corner once we click on filters we can see there are a couple of ways how we can filter out the data we can search it off or filter it out by name number or the custom content properties along with that by user wise by status wise the last call date wise by stages wise by tags wise by creation date wise by contact source wise and by follow files so there are a couple of options by which we can filter out the data. Our search and filter option is very much flexible. For preference, we can filter it out. Even we can apply dual and triple filter also to get a niche kind of data. Now, we'll be able to filter it out from here. Then along with that, there's a bulk actions as well. So let's say if we just select any of the lead like this one, then we can click on bulk actions. Now, if you want to modify a lead, so we can do it from here. Like if you want to delete it, we can. If you want to move it to some other campaign or folder, that we can. If you want to close it off, that also we can. Or else if you just simply click on update. And if you want to change the stage, I'll simply click on in progress, hot. I'll select a like Lakshya assigning and I'll click on update. I'll click on yes confirm. So automatically we can see for the lead, which has been open stage before, that has been gone to in progress, tag has been gone to hot, rather than Shorya, it went to Lakshya, but the status is open. Status means it comes from the system level. Stages are usually whatever being a human being or being a user or admin, we are updating it. And status, it, can, it will get updated automatically by the system itself. So stages can be manipulated from the admin or the user side, but status can get updated. So whatever we'll do, if we are initiating a call, then after that, the status can't be open at all. So the status is completely system driven and it can't be manipulated, but stages and tags can be manipulated. So as we can see, if we just select any of the lead and if you want to modify it, we just need to go to the bulk actions and then we can modify it by clicking on update. So this is, and then after that, there's a download option as well. So whatever the like filter will apply and we'll get a niche kind of data. And then accordingly, whatever the report we want to download it, we can simply click on download CSV report and the report will get downloaded. Now, if you want to simply go to call logs from here, at the top right corner, there's a call logs option. 
will click on call logs and automatically we'll be able to see there's a call log over here okay now as per the disposition the call logs will get updated here it will give you all the details if you just click on any of the call logs uh, there also if it, there are some details it will be visible along with that we will be able to filter it out by the date wise at the top by user level we can filter it out along with that by the call status wise also we can filter it out and then if you just click on this download button then automatically the call logs will get downloaded or the lead will get downloaded even if you want to search any lead by the lead number we can search it from the top right corner as well so this is all about the call logs so even if there are IVR is present if there is IVR is present and whatever the call recordings we want to check it so once the lead gets disposed if you click on any of the lead we'll get the call recording as well so now once we go to call logs as per the disposition the call logs will get created and we'll be able to understand that how my team is working how my users are working and along with that we'll be able to like if you want to check for only one user we can just simply apply a filter for the user if you want to check for the date we can just simply click on that today today's date and we can apply any of the date whatever on whatever date we want to check the call logs and then by call status also if you want to check it we can do it and the call recordings and all the basic details will find it over here if you download the report we'll get all the details like as per every call who has called what are the status what are the stages tags has been updated what are the remarks has been updated uh what are the question is has been updated whatsapp has been sent or not so then along with that the, what is the total call duration what is the form filling time the complete details will find it the complete history will find it so lead summary means it's a unique lead report and call logs means it's a complete history report so that's all about the call logs and the lead summary thank you